Now, radix 4 FFT algorithm for n equal to 4. Therefore, the calculation from 0 until n minus 1, so from 0 until 3. So, we have even equation g, k. And then, this one is from, the calculation is from 0 until 1. And divide by 2 so 4 divided by 2 is 2 minus 1 so until 1 so this is based on the formula n divided by 2 minus 1 and then we have this function for even okay n equal to 2r and when we substitute um, the value of r equal to 0 Okay, so we have uh, this one, x0 and x2. So this is even function. And then we calculate for k equal to 0 until k equal to 3. So rk, this function is rk. So r based on this one, 0 and 1. k is based on 0 until 3. So this one... For k equal to 3, we substitute r for 0 and r for 1. So we have 2r. So 2 multiply with 1, r equal to 1, we have 2. So we note that this uh, operation is positive for k equal to 0. The next one is negative for k equal to 1. Positive again for k equal to 2 and negative for k equal to 3. The next one we have odd function. Again, we calculate the summation from r equal to 0 until 1. So 1 is equal to n divided by 2 minus 1. And we calculate for k from 0 until 3. So, this is n equal to 2r plus 1 for odd function. And then for r k, uh, so this k is equal to 3. This is for k equal to 2. This is for k equal to 1. And we substitute r 0. We have 1. And we substitute r 1. We have x 3. So, for k equal to 0, we have this positive function. k equal to 1, we have negative function and so on. So we note that g0 from the even function is equal to g2. g1 is equal to g3. And for odd function, we have h0 equal to h2. This one equal to this one. And also h1 is equal to h3. Again, uh, we have this wk function, which is equal to exponential function. For n equal to 4, we have exponent negative j pi over 2k. So we substitute k from 0 until 3. And then for each one, we have this value. Okay, so for w k which is uh, equal to 0 for this one for n equal to 4 so when we apply this exponent function that based on the Euler's identity cos omega n uh, minus j sine omega n we have this function and when we convert into magnitude and uh, phase we have this one as magnitude and this one as phase and we have uh, this value for k equal to 1, this one for k equal to 2, and this one for k equal to 3. So the first one, w0 equal to 1 at this point, where the magnitude is 1, the phase is 0 degree. For w1, okay, this is for W0, 1, magnitude is 1, the phase is 0, magnitude is 1, the phase is 0, starting from this right side. For W1, the value is negative J at this point, where the magnitude is 1, the phase is negative pi over 2, negative 90. 
so the magnitude is 1 the phase is negative 90 for w2 the uh, uh, the value is negative 1 so for this side the magnitude is 1 this is the magnitude and the phase is negative 180 negative pi so negative 180 this side or it is equal to positive 180 for w3 which is equal to positive j at this point uh, the magnitude is 1 the magnitude is 1 and the phase is positive 90 pi over 2 positive 90 so this is the location for all force of w k for n points which is equal to four points one two three four for k equal to zero until k equal to three